Ay Jokic. That's right. Just waiting for that MVP number two. Should be. Anyway, welcome back to Bruise with Peck. I'm Dan. Oh, how the hell are you today? I am phenomenal. You don't want to ask me again. I'll, I'll say the same thing. Anyway, the reason I'm feeling phenomenal is because I am feeling phenomenal, and I've got this beer in front of me, which I'm very looking forward to. Uh, from Perennial Artesian Ales out of St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, got this at my local handy market. Uh, you know, nice, nice big stout uh, here. Let's get the Richter button in here. Sir Broncos in the other way. This one's a, you know, fairly big boy. Uh, reasonable. 11.5 on the Richter. That's what I put in for a triple. So let's, let's, let's do that. Um, yeah, this is a Sump Coffee Stout, the two, 2022 version. It's an Imperial Stout with coffee from uh, Mexico. Uh, I don't know if you call it Chiapas and Las Catoras. Roasted in St. Louis by Sump Coffee with notes of almond, red pear, and chocolate. Uh, contains lactose. There you go. So, um, yeah, got it for, I think it was either eight or nine bucks for the can, but you know, for, for a stout like this, uh, rates pretty high. People seem to like it on untapped. I uh, figured I would, you know, check it out, see, see if it's to my liking. So anyway, we're in the midst of the, uh, you know, nuggets run. So, uh, you know, once you get, give it up to my nuggets, uh, always my alumni, see you buffs and, uh, yeah, go Broncos. But let's get to it. Out of uh, St. Louis, Missouri, Missouri uh, perennial artesian ale, sump coffee stout. Let's go. Ooh, used motor oil. Uh, do me that usual favor. Please crush that like button. Por favor. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. That way you can see all these jet black beers all the time even though it's not always jet black all right all right all right like and subscribe thank you much all right bring bronco bob down in there or who you know i don't really name him just it's more for my kid but he's gonna be a new uh you know new new fan favorite on here so all right perennial uh, i've had a few of their brews before but uh let's get into it cheers to y'all and the MVP, biggie ups. Let's get a smell. Yeah, I am getting um, almond right off the bat, kind of a sweet almond. Chocolate, everything they're saying. They said it says red pear. I again, this is the description on, uh, on tap. So I don't even know if I've had that, but yeah, got a sweet chocolate almond uh, feel to it. Um, oh yeah. Definitely, as, as like, am I getting coffee? Yeah, I'm definitely getting coffee too. Roasted coffee to go along with that sweet, sweet chocolate almond. Boom. I hope, I don't know if you can miss with that one. So, cheers. No words, just emotions. Chocolate almonds with coffee. Ooh. That is... That is nice. Total roasted coffee with everything I said. Just the, the, the nice, not too syrupy, of course, you know, as I take more sips, we'll see. Yeah, it's almost, it's, it's roasted, it's smoky coffee, um, which, which leads it. It's not, it's not like, not like a pastry, which, yeah, there you go. It's an imperial double coffee. Um, man, that's, Damn, I should have this more often. Mouthfeel is definitely up there. It's it's a it's a twinge syrupy, but um, not in a bad way. Um, I'd probably say this is like seventy percent mouthfeel, so pretty you know getting up there to heavy. Um, it's eleven point five on the Richter, but would I think it's eleven point five? Actually, that's that's about what I would probably guess if I didn't know what this was, because uh, I can tell it's not. You, you can tell it's not barrel aged, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's got just enough booze and like heaviness to it that I can tell it's a little bit heavier than like just a straight ten percent or so. 
Um, all right, well, cool. I'm going to pour the rest of this used motor oil, as you saw that come out. Yeah, check it out. I'm sure, you know, it's been around for a bit. Just I'm sure you guys leave in the comments if you've had it and what you think about it. But uh, I'm going to give it another second to see if it, there's any other tasting notes besides what I've already gotten. And then uh, I'm going to give it a score. And then we're going to get out of here and we're going to say go Nuggets. All right, hold on one sec. Welcome back. Um, I looked up, I forgot to say, I looked up what sump means because I'm not really, that's not really a common term I use in everyday life. Maybe you do. Um, the definition is a pit or hollow in which liquid collects, especially um, one on the floor, mine, or basement, or uh, a pit at the lowest point in a circulating or drainage system, such as an oil circulating system, an internal combustion engine, or a cesspool. Uh, so, thus, thus the, the 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 reaper type of look, but it's also funny because obviously, you know, pours just like oil. So. Not a bad term to, uh, you know, use for, for the stout. Um, I just found it interesting that that it says that in the definition about getting red pear and, you know, another person I saw mm -hmm. said they got red pear. I don't even know if I've had a red pear. I don't, I don't see how you would get that at all. But all I know is very good, very forward roasted coffee with nice, not too syrupy, um, you know, chocolate, um, almond, and maybe even a little vanilla. But super on point, like, and what I mean on point, very good. Uh, yep, big fans, big fans. Well done, St. Louis. Um, all right, one more sip, and I'm going to grade this. Man, you put something like this up against a triple amazing um, New England IPA, it's just... It's, 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 it is apples and oranges, but you know, they're in the same category. And by the way, daughter seemed to have stolen my, uh, black marker. She's, she's, yeah, I can't even find, she, she, she's crazy. You're loco. So I got on a, on a, uh, stellar down to hell no blackboard. I got to use my red marker. All right. So man, um, for me, this is really, really nice. I'm going to, I would love to put this at a stellar, but for me, it's just, it's like, it's very at the tip top of solid, which means an absolute, no questions asked, A beer. Yeah, let's get that in there. A. Um, there you go, buddy. Yeah, I'll give it a 96 out of 100. I wanted to give it a 97, uh, put it in that A plus category. It's just it, I need to have that wow factor, and it doesn't just have that wow factor. I really like it, but it is it is just short of it. Um, but you know what? Absolutely worth eight nine bucks for for this stout for sure. Uh, would would never. Yeah, I mean, for what some of the other ones charge for like. 25 30 bucks for you know these wine bottles 22 ounces this is this is a pretty good deal so anyway go get this find it if you uh you like all the characteristics i said about it um remember to like and subscribe remember to like and subscribe love y'all and uh yeah go nuggets hopefully we can uh you know move forward so all right good talk cheers to y'all see you out there peace and go broncos